Hello and welcome. In this part, I'm going to talk about creating guides for your tool. So guides are very useful to visualize certain data that you don't need as output, but just for certain visualization of data. So the way we're going to use this is we're going to dive into a node. I'm going to place a null node and I'm going to call this guides. The name doesn't really matter. You will see in a sec why this is just purely for visualization and structure in your network that should give this a clear name. So let's say I would like to visualize my curve to know where my fence should go. So on that curve, let's use a poly wire. So we just give this a geometry. We can increase here that amount and for example, the divisions. So we have that here available. So we can use this here directly in guides. And right now it's, if you can see, like it's not doing anything. And now we have to assign this. So we're going to go here into our properties of our menu. We're going to go to our nodes and we see here guides. So we're going to go and click on this icon or you could try and drag and drop the node in here, but you can click on the icon. You can go into our tool and I can click on guides and press accept and accept. Now, if I go back to my tool, I can see or visualize the wireframe of the curve that I draw. So again, this can be very useful if you want to visualize certain data. So for example, I could see here that it's like placing one fence extra because I also have a point at the end. So what I could do is, for example, delete the last point on my line so I can get rid of that fence that is placed too much here. We can also go back here and play around with this. So we can quickly move this to, for example, here, like this. We can give this a color. So let's say, let's say this needs to be uh, this orange color. And if I go back here, now I see my actual input curve and the orange color. So again, this is just for visualization, maybe some debugging. This can be just very useful for viewing that. So we can place this anywhere we want to. So I can grab here the null node and I can, for example, uh, visualize here the planks. So I can now go here. And now in the middle of my world, I have only the planks here available. So if I would now switch that, we will have the same result. What we can also do is, for example, build a switch node in here. So we're going to use a switch node and we're going to use another null node. And the null node is basically an empty one. So I can just type in empty. So whenever I don't want to visualize anything, we can, for example, uh, switch this here. So by default now, we don't see anything. And I, for example, can expose this value. And when it is one, I now see my guide. So you can make a complex visualization system to visualize certain data quickly on the fly here. So you can have, for example, like a toggle to say, uh, I would like to see my input curve uh, as a result here. Uh, like for example, here, like for example, bringing that back here, I can now select my tool, open the menu here, add new property, and for example, make a new folder for visualization or debug. So let's call it debug, for example. Uh, and we can expose that value. And we can say show uh, curve. And we're going to also make this to a toggle. And we're going to press accept. So now I have this new menu for debugging, so I can make more uh, toggles and values to play around with for debugging. So I can turn this then on or off if I would like to see what's going on uh, with that. And that's a bit about how to use guide geometry. It can be very useful with some tools and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.